Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I'm going to answer the question what is stack effect? Stack effect is the movement of air into and out of buildings due to air buoyancy. The buoyancy occurs due to a difference in air density. that results from temperature differences between the inside and outside of a building. Buildings aren't 100% airtight. At the very least, you have an entrance on the ground floor. So let's move this over and make some room and draw a building. We'll make it a couple stories high. Put in our door, some windows. So hot air is less dense than cold air. So hot air in a building will want to rise to the top of the building. Stairwells and elevator shafts contribute to the stack effect as hot air rises up them. The airflow leaving the top of the building creates a negative pressure that will draw air into the building. This air can come through doors and windows and other cracks in the building. This is called infiltration. And the air leaving the building is called exfiltration. This is especially an issue in the winter heating season, but it can happen in the summer too, but it's usually not as bad. Stack effect happens every day in the winter and it can result in a lot of wasted energy, which is wasted money too. Let's move this over and make a little bit more room. Let's draw another building. And again, our doors and windows. Okay, so in the summer, and let's label this the winter. So in the summer, stack effect still happens, but the air inside the building is colder and denser than the warm outside air. So you get what's, a, what's called a reverse stack effect. Warm air is drawn into the top of the building and exits out the bottom of the building as the cold air falls. Stack effect is one of the reasons that revolving doors were invented. When high-rise buildings were first being built, the stack effect caused so much pressure that the air rushing in was making it hard to open the doors. Stack effect can also cause comfort problems in a building because it may be hard to heat the lower floors due to the cold air being drawn into the building. To minimize stack effect, you should minimize air leakage in and out of a building, and also for most buildings, you should supply more air into the building than you are exhausting from the building to keep it slightly positively pressurized. So that's stack effect. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking the time out with us.